हेलो फ्रेंड्स माई सेल्फ नेहा गुप्ता योर मेंटर फॉर करंट अफेयर्स सो दिस इज द मॉर्निंग टेल्स फॉर जनवरी सिक्स ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन एंड इन दिस न्यू ईयर आई हैव अ लॉट ऑफ इंटरेस्टिंग न्यूज न्यू न्यू क्वेश्चन दैट आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग विद यू एवरी न्यू डे सो लेट्स बिगिन विद दिस वीडियो एंड द स्टूडेंट्स आर कमिंग फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम कैन सब्सक्राइब एंड हिट दिस बेल नोटिफिकेशन एंड ऑल्सो गाइज यू कैन ज्वाइन दिस telegram group now what are the perks of joining this group you can share your queries and also uh, get them resolved also guys we provide free quizzes of quant reasoning so you can uh, enjoy the free quizzes that we provide on this group and get yourself uh, prepared for the examination now we are at our first question of the day so the first question is who has become the first women chairperson of steel authority of india so uh, the it is the first time a woman has become the chairperson of this humongous organization in the steel sector so who is that person it is option b soma mandal so she is the person that has become the first chairperson chair women of this organization apart from this news which is in itself very important there is a distinction that soma mandal has and that distinction is that she was already the first ever woman director of this organization called sail in short form now guys do you know where this sail is located if you know then do tell me in the comment section below and if you don't know then do find it out and then tell me in the comment section below now let's move on to the next question what is the theme of national metrology conclave 2021 so this national metrology conclave first of all metrology and meteorology these two are different things metrology is the study of measurements and uh, the national metrology conclave has been organized in india in 2021 and what is the theme of this conclave that is your question so what is the theme do you know the theme so we have five options measurements for transport measurements for manufacturing metrology for the atmanirbhar bharat which is quite uh, looking as the answer of this question right many of you are attempting to make this the right answer so let's find it out what is the right answer but let me read out the uh, uh, remaining options first so metrology for the in uh, inclusive growth of the nation and measurements for global trade so what is the right answer i think that majority of you are going with the option c but the right answer is not option c it is option d that is metrology for the inclusive growth of the nation i know many conclaves or many uh, events that are being organized by the government has some atmanirbhar thing attached to it but this is a different thing so here we have the theme metrology for the inclusive growth of the nation now it was held virtually and that's all for this question because there are no many not many facts attached to this news therefore i will be moving on to the third question of the day which of the following railway station will be transformed into the world's longest railway platform by the indian railways so we are again going to have a superlative in our country and that is the world's longest railway platform now on which railway station is it going to be developed guys do you know this thing that at present also india has the longest railway platform at which at which railway station is it located it is gorakhpur railway station so gorakhpur railway platform is already the world's longest railway platform that is located in india but now the uh, there is another announcement made by the karnataka government that is to transform the hubali railway station into the world's large world's longest railway platform now what is the distinction between gorakhpur and this railway station so the, the railway platform that is there in gorakhpur is presently of 1300 meters in length so this is around this is the uh, round figure this is not the exact dimension of the railway platform but this is the round figure so gorakhpur is at present 1300 meters uh, long platform the platform 
and the Hubali railway station platform is expected to be built around 1400 meters long. So do remember this thing that Hubali railway station which is located in Karnataka is going to be transformed into the world's longest railway platform. Now guys related to this Hubali, if you are a regular follower of Spotlight magazine then you would come across a news or there would be a news in your mind related to this Hubali railway station. So what is this news? The news is the renaming of Hubali railway station. So what is the new name that has been given to this railway station? This is your task that you have to find out and tell me in the comment section below. Recently this name was changed. So therefore this is an important question from the exam point of view as well. Do tell me in the comment section below. Which of the following institution will organize the fourth global Ayurveda festival 2021? So guys, before telling you the answer of this question, I would like to tell you an interesting or I would say a factual thing about this festival. So this is the fourth edition of global Ayurveda festival that was scheduled in Kochi in 2020 only. So it was scheduled to be held in May 2020 but due to the COVID it has been postponed and now in 2021 it will be held virtually. Apart from this, so this fourth edition is the 2020th edition that is being postponed or that is being held in the 2021. Now, which organization is organizing this festival? So, it is being organized by the Center for Innovation in Science and Social Action. So, this is one fact related to this news. Now, we are discussing about a festival. So, obviously, there would be events in this festival. So, what are those events? Let's find it out. So, guys, here is the table that shows you the main events that are going to be held during the festival as well as their themes. So let's have a glance over it. So first, uh, first event is International Ayurveda Seminar and the theme is Strengthening Host Defense System Ayurveda A Potential Promise. International Delegate Assembly Globalizing Ayurveda Scope Challenges. International Business Meet Global Ayurveda Pharmacy Practices, Possibilities and Policies. So guys, these are the three themes of these three events that are going to be a part of Global Ayurveda Festival, which is the fourth edition of the festival. So do remember this thing that it, will, it is going to be organized by the Center for Innovation and in Science and Social Action. Now my question is a very tiny and is a very tiny question for you. So where is the headquarters or where is basically the center for innovation in science and social action located? So this is your question. Do tell me in the comment section below. Next question is about a committee which is again a relevant question and an important question as well. So do listen to me very carefully. Who heads the seven member committee formed by the Ministry of Education to ex for exploring the option of conducting a common entrance test for admission to undergraduate colleges across all central university from the next academic year? So basically a committee has been formed by the Ministry of Education. Who is the Minister of Education? It is Ramesh Pokhriyal Nishank. So do remember the ministers that are there uh, in this union cabinet or basically in the union ministries. Now let's coming back to the question. So a committee has been formed in order to explore the possibilities of conducting a common entrance test for getting admissions into UG courses. So basically this has been done in order to eliminate the uh, misuse or we can say the uh, abuse that is there for of the reserved categories basically in order to give a chance to unreserved categories to get admission in the high colleges in the high re highly reputed colleges of Delhi University this thing has been done by the University Grants Commission now who heads this committee it is R.P. Tiwari So he is the person that heads this committee that will uh, 
explore the possibilities for the general students so that basically it's a boon for the unreserved class students with basically if this common entrance test becomes a reality then it will be a greater boon for all the students that are there and then the merit meritorious students will get admission into the uh, universities and not the reserved students only now we are at our next question so who is the first head of human rights cell of indian army so basically at the indian army headquarters now where is the headquarters in new delhi so at the central government is restructuring the indian army headquarters that are there in new delhi and as part of the restructuring various cells or various departments we can say are being created by the government so we have already come across two departments that is one for strategy and one for media handling or information warfare so these are the two departments that are already there that have been formed in 2020 only and they have been formed as part of this restructuring now this new human rights cell has been formed in order to tackle the issues related to humans or human rights so this cell has been recently formed therefore the person who has been appointed as the head of this cell is going to be the first head so who is that person that has become the first head of this cell the right answer is gautam chohan so he has become the he is the major general and he has become the first head of this human rights cell now related to the indian army headquarters do you know what is the name of indian army headquarters it is thal sena bhavan so as the major uh, major superpower countries have a different name for their army headquarters or defense headquarters indian government has also followed in to their shoes and indian government has named its headquarters army headquarters as thal sena bhavan so do remember this thing that it is uh, located in new delhi and this new human rights cell has been created who is which is headed by gautam chohan and here the end of the session has come i'll take your leave and if you have liked this session then do uh, share it with your friends and subscribe the channel thank you so much for watching the video